<laughs> hey, you know when you're in New York, yes, you hear you your know. family. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah! Hey, welcome to the party. Um, when there are so many talented names and faces, right, in this story, you guys, everyone else, how do you go about, I guess, uh, you know, finding the right creative idea when there are so many different people from so many different realms? Steve? I think that when you're on a set, there's a mood and a feeling which tells us the, what the right answer is. If there's an option here or an option there, if, that, if that's what you mean. And then you kind of settle in and said, this is the one that really feels right for all of us. And, and a lot of times, you know, we're not out for ourselves. We'll say, you know, it'd be so funny if Marty said that, or it'd be so funny if Selena just looked at us. You know, we're kind of working for the entire show. Oh, they should just walk up. I'm just excited about we're in season four. I yeah, mean, it's uh, when, when we started, we never even dreamed of a season four. Yeah. We just like, let's get through one and see what happens. And then, you know, I, I always feel, uh, I think George Lucas said, movies are binary, they either work or they don't. And I've had so many experiences where it just doesn't, and then you have an experience where, oh, it does, it does work for some reason, and you don't try to figure it out. Oh, Mrs. That's my friend. Very important, AP. Associated Press, right? Oh, well, you're not fooling around, are you? Well, I'll tell you what. What? It's right here. Oh, okay. Time Emmy Award winner. It's me. That's me. Where are you from that you've got an accent? That's different than mine. Take the wildest guess. Like, say a few more things. Right. Here we are at Paramount Studios. This never gets old. You're an Australian. It's New Zealand? Yeah. Okay. You're a Kiwi. Okay. Yeah. How did I do that? Yeah. I, I, it's beautiful out there. There, but this is a great place to be too. It's buzzing, as you can feel. It's buzzing. Yeah, it's electric. It's crackling. Well, I think that's a good place to start. Like, yeah, it is. I just this doesn't get old for me. <laughs> good, me neither. And I've been doing this a long time. I still get very excited about this stuff. Yeah. And of course, uh, Saz is did. Yeah, Saz is did, as they say in New Zealand. Saz is did. Saz is did. A lot of flashback sequences, I'm guessing. There. Yeah, there might be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm hearing five out of ten episodes. That's a good ratio. Yeah, that's not bad, right? Half of them. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, obviously, your role is Steve's double. Yes, exactly. What study do you have to do to get a man like that down, Pat? Well, Saz probably uh, is much better at it than Jane Lynch is. But um, what I do is, as we're rehearsing for the scene, uh, I watch what Steve does. So if he does this or if he does that. And then I'll, I'll, I'll mirror that, and uh, if he changes it while we're shooting it, I keep an eye on him, and I'm ready to, you know, I'm ready to shift. I'm ready to uh, to um, go to the whatever he's doing. So well, it's interesting though, because there's obviously Steve, yes. and then there's the character he plays in the show. I know it's crazy. So it's like, what you can't go back and watch old clips of Steve, because that might not how Charles is in the show, right? Right, exactly. Well, what's fun about this season is we get to see um, Steve, uh, Charles, and Saz working together back in the day. So that's kind of fun. When you have a cast like this, stars like this, names like this, is it, is it a good thing as an actor or is it a negative thing? Like, does it, is it too many egos in the room? Like, how does it? How does oh my it gosh, no. I wish it, you know, I do wish that this show had more egos and had more drama and had a bunch of divas because I'd have a lot more to talk about it and I'd probably get a lot of press. However, it is just the kindest group of people, which I know is really boring, but we all go to work and we're really happy and we all leave work and we're really happy. It is, there has not been a bad egg on this show yet and how grateful. I've been on the se show for four seasons. I have yet to meet a jerk, you know what I mean? So we're lucky. And of course the accolades for this show are second to none. I mean, I've got the list here, Emmy noms, Golden Globe noms. What else we got? Critic Choice Award wins. People Choice Awards. Yeah. When a show, obviously when you debut a show, all you can pray for is yeah. a little bit of success. Yeah. Right? Oh my gosh. So how does when all those accolades come in, and it's not small accolades, those are the top of the top. Yeah. How does it impact the, the show or where you take it, if that makes sense? Yeah, I don't think, I mean, it's an embarrassment of riches, the amount of accolades the show have got, has gotten. I don't think it changes the work. I don't think, I, I try not to think about it, because if you think about how great you are, you're, you're never going to get it back. You know what I mean? Um, so I feel like uh, it's wonderful that people love it and enjoy it, but I think it's it's not changing the way we approach the work. We're just trying to make a great show with great people. And it works. Thanks. Congratulations. Nice, to, nice meet you. to meet you. All the best. Thank you. Have fun. Yeah.